hello everybody and welcome back it's been a while um because yes i've been busy with work because the holidays are over uh, so i think i will try and do my best to put out a video once a week maybe two well who knows who knows but we are here back at the colton family zoo for i think almost the final episode because we've added the last animal in the colton family zoo and you've already seen over there i've been working on something so without further ado let's take a gander shall we so yes um I've shown you in my last video on Planet Zoo, on the new zoo I'm planning to make, the Cat Zoo. Uh, I've made these buildings and I've, uh, well, I've made a blueprint of them and I will be uploading them to the Steam Workshop. So that you, the viewer, can use them in your own zoo, if you like that. And if you don't like it, well, salt you then. Nah, I'm only joking. Um... So, uh, I've, I've told you many times that I want to have a whole staff area here, which I'm going to make to finish it all off. Uh, and maybe we'll do one video on that and then just another video on the whole park uh, um, in, its, uh, in its full glory. Yes, would you like that? Oh, let's do that. Um... So yes, we've come a long way. Uh, I've oh, I have enjoyed building this uh, um, uh, this uh, zoo. Uh, we have some fun type uh, animals. Uh, we've created some um, beautiful buildings, if I do say so myself. Uh, it has been a challenge uh, for me, but uh, I like a challenge, and uh, I'm I'm just going to highlight a few things. Uh, the whole um, uh, farmy atmosphere over here with uh, the pub over there and the the old ruined tower over there this is something which i'm i'm very proud of um and uh which i enjoyed uh creating um also the uh, uh cat uh, exhibits the lynx enclosure especially and the amur leopard um, these were also quite challenging for me to do, and um, yes, yes, I, I really, really enjoyed it, and I'm, I'm actually quite proud of myself. But we shall do a um, another video on uh, the whole park, and uh, to see, uh, well, how of it, uh, how it's all uh, 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 come together in in the end. So, without further ado, let's go over here, uh, because I've been... Uh, oh, yes, 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 I've also uh, been busy with this. Uh, we have a, a cute little uh, place where you can uh, have your din-dins uh, over here. I've made uh, all this, and uh, uh, so, yes, the people can finally go into the... Um, uh oh no, no i don't really uh, have to do that um in the uh, butterfly exhibit and the sloth exhibit uh so we have to put that that and that and i think yes they can go through and we'll do them i like this path i really do um so the people can now Go and watch me butterflies and what's this power source in? Oh yes, it's from uh, staff building over there. Um, so this I have shown you all in the latest video, and now we have here the last animals in the Colton family zoo, which of course are the ring-tailed lemurs, and we have Bakuli, Bakuli. And, oh, there they are, they're playing on me little bridge, me little wooden bridge. We had Haya, Haya, and uh, we have, oh, God, Nambininitsua, Nambininitsua, we have. 
we have three lemurs uh, for now, um, but I, I think they um, they produce a lot of uh, babies eventually. So um, this is a sort of classic uh, typed uh, uh, exhibit for the lemurs, a little island with water around it. I still have to make it all look rather pretty. But uh, I thought uh, it was time to show you the last exhibit. Uh, sort of uh, tropical uh, island. Um, uh, I, I really want to create a sort of bridge on which they can uh, play around. And as you are the viewer, uh, you can really see them enjoying themselves on the bridge. And then you can go over here to the indoor exhibit of the lemurs, which I've placed some uh, climbable things and a feeder and a little box and a little ice cube and a water and a heater and uh, oh, where they can all uh, yeah, do their thingies. I think I have to put some sleeping uh, things in there as well. We haven't done that. Oh, they have to sleep on the muddy floor. We can't have that. Can we? Bloody hell, we have a lot of animals these days. Ring-tailed lemur, so they can never leave. Let's try that. Don't really know if that's uh, accessible or not, but uh, then they can have a little sleep over there with their little... Uh, play thingies. We have uh, made a little bridge for them, which uh, they, they very cutely uh, run upon. And we have some uh, playing balls, and we have another box, and a sprinkler, another box. Uh, that sort of a thing. So, uh, the viewer uh, comes, uh, if you follow the zoo tour, and you can, uh, you go uh, all the way over here, you have the ostriches, the badgers, the uh, um, Turtle, uh, tortoise uh, thing, the reindeers, the otters, and you have all this, the llamas, the, uh, the peafowls, the uh, red ground cranes, another reptile thingy. Uh, then you can go over here to the butterflies and the sloth. And you can go over here, and then I'm going to make a path over there with, with uh, a lot of food and a gift shop uh, uh, I'm planning to do. Uh, and then you can have a look at the lemurs over here. Uh, you can look at them indoors, and then you can go over here to the Penguin Kingdom, and you can continue your journey to the Amur Leopard and the Lynx Enclosure. And that is rather, uh, roughly put, the whole Colton Family Zoo as of now. So this is really the last um, exhibit I'm going to make in this zoo, because... Uh, my inspiration—I I told you once already—my inspiration for the zoo is running a little bit out, so I want to focus on uh, the cat species zoo, and I really enjoyed uh, diving into Zoo Tycoon um, again. So I'm planning on uh, making some videos about that as well. So. Uh, it's going to be a short video today, but I hoped you liked my video. Hope you like my channel. Leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.